holy moly yo it is freezing cold out here it's uh it's literally 15 degrees <laughs> and i i hate to say it the uh i hate to say it but i went a whole week without playing tennis and it wasn't really my choice either so it kind of sucks just it seems like every time i come out here it's just like trying to get like warmed up again you know um but i will say that it, it really wasn't my choice to not go out there um i didn't really have a choice because here in alabama we had a snowstorm when i say a snowstorm i think we had like maybe an inch of snow <laughs> but uh even though it was just like an inch, maybe a half an inch, it was pretty brutal because it wiped us out from work for an entire week. Uh, the temperature just never went above 32. I think we even went negative at one point, which is pretty insane in this area. Um, I guess honestly in any area, going negative degrees Fahrenheit is pretty chilly. So that being said, yeah, we did not, we weren't allowed to go to work, so we had to work remotely. So I spent a lot of time just in my house, just uh, practicing some, some Python. So I kind of figured I could, uh, I could kill two birds with one stone. I could one, improve my Python skills for work so that I can be more useful in that area. And two, I could create myself a workout plan for when I start hitting the gym pretty hard. I was doing some research and one guy I really liked listening to was, uh, I think it's Jeremy Ethier or something. I forgot what the last name is, uh, but he has a YouTube channel. Seems to really know what he's talking about. Fit guy, uh, workout dude. And um, I was kind of looking up, how do you get stronger? How do you get bigger? So each week, bring up the weight, maybe 5 to 10%. If you can't bring up the weight, bring up the reps. Um, so I, I kind of implemented this into my Python program that I made. So I enter all the workouts I did for the day, and then it will store in a database uh, how, how many reps and how much weight you should be doing the next week. So kind of use just like a 10% rule as a... I guess I use 10% as my general increase slash decrease in weight. And um, I put like different thresholds on there, whether I'm shooting for low reps, medium reps, or high reps. Uh, so say say I'm wanting to do low reps on that, uh, which I, I put as like four to eight. And say my average reps for this exercise only ends up being three. Um, my program is also going to adjust to say, hey, you're not able to do this weight. Most likely you're not using good technique and you're not even miss meeting like that low weight threshold. So it's gonna bump you down 10% for the next week. And um, it's gonna assign to you four reps. Uh, try to do four reps at this weight. And then say you achieve that, it will give you some, some options for the following week. So the first option is always gonna be a 10% increase in the weight, four reps. Um, say you go try that, you're not able to do one rep of that weight, then we're just gonna do the weight you're already able to do, but add an extra rep to that. And um, see see if you can accomplish that. And next, the week after that, we can either pick up the weight or pick up the reps again. So I, I think it's a decent system. It always makes sure that you're pushing yourself. You have a goal, um, an objective, and uh, one problem I've had in the past is like really the only feedback you get if you're not logging any of your workouts is just what you look like in the mirror. And as everyone knows, you're not gonna go do a workout, look in the mirror and, and be much stronger looking. Um, anyway, let me get back to you. About to get my hidden with Reed. It is 15 degrees out here, super chilly. We're going to see how it goes. It's cold as balls.
Yeah, I can't feel my fingers. Okay, let's get back. So just getting right into it. We're just trying to get a hundred balls past the service line each. So just go ahead and uh, start counting. So just count your own. Yeah, so I should be getting to every ball. There's no reason to ever miss because there's no ball that I can't get. Alright, 19. deep Good rips, man. Good rips. Good ball. Just wanting to hit the same stroke over and over again deep. Uh, 
Hier geht. He's gonna take his jacket off. Here we go. Come on, come on. Alright, we've got 78. If I can get to the ball, I should get it. Hands. 50 each past the service line. All right, here we go. I've got two. My bad. If I can get to that. If I can get to that. If I can get to that. If I can get that. Just telling myself I can get to the ball. So I'm thinking. Sorry, the not lower. I can get to all of those. No reason why I shouldn't miss anything I get to. Oh! 
Trời ơi, tung rồi tung à Oh golly! I got 50. Uh, let's do some fear hands. Some fear handies. All right, here we go. 50 each. Bang the door. My bad, can't be missing those. There's no reason to. That's greediness. Is that one in? Good, good. Shouldn't miss that. Shouldn't miss that. Bang! You're good. We get to it, it's just a default, I should be able to make it. All I'm thinking is I can get to that ball. You're good. Oh, 
Oh. My bad, man. I need to just ingrain it, ingrain it in my mind that I'm never missing a shot I get to. Oh. Just becomes the default. Oh. Oh. You're good. Yep. All I have to do is get to the ball. To the ball. I uh, shouldn't miss that. I should never miss that. Oh. Gotta be disciplined, man. The, uh, the habits add up day after day. Every single shot matters. Your skills are a series of habits. You can make that, man. Oh, Vincenzo! You gotta move, Vince! Nice shot.
Oh. Okay, so dude. Is that, is that fitty? All right, let's get straight into the next one. At the end of the day, any tennis match you play is going to be easier than the work you put in. <laughs> Gotta try to make it hurt so that in a match it's easy. Get to the ball. I can never miss that. You gave away a point. That should be yours. See, points like that is where it's so critical. You can't miss those because that's your opportunity. That should be your point. Just gotta get there. Get there and make the easier the next one easier. Excuse me. Oh, that's too good, man. I gotta make you play. I'd rather just dink it over. But I've been a winner, because again, I shouldn't miss it because I got to it. I was there. It's really good stuff, man. Make the next one easier. Oh, 
Holy moly! Holy moly!